Now at 630, after a vacation they probably wish they'd never taken, Bay Area residents are stuck in Cabo after the hurricane. Welcome back. I'm Elizabeth Cook in for Veronica De La Cruz. And I'm Ken Bastida. Mike Sugarman is alongside now with a first-hand look at what these stranded tourists are going through. And it seems simple enough. You get on a flight and you get out. Not so easy. Maybe for you, but well. it's not working out for people down there. You know, there are thousands of tourists that uh, were hoping for a vacation of a lifetime, but instead ended up with a trip from hell. Some escaped, others didn't, and are still there and aren't sure when they're going to be home. He was supposed to be a relaxed guy's weekend for Brian Spatz, but of course it didn't turn out that way. Everything was leveled. Power poles on the ground, uh, windows completely blown out. Um, there were buildings that have fallen over. There was an office. He didn't know how he would get out with the airport closed, but he and his buddies went to the airport anyway and were rewarded with a lift from the Mexican Air Force. So they actually had a flight um, that they were putting us on on an Air Force plane uh, into Tijuana. So we flew into TJ. He's out of Tijuana now in San Diego and much luckier than most like Leah Villanziano, whose bachelorette party was so fun in Cabo Saturday night, she wrote, hashtag never want to leave. She sure does now. This was Monday, the place in tatters. No food, no water, no clean clothes. The two of the girls that went evidently have lost their luggage. It was evidently either swept away or blown away or something like that. This is our own KPIX senior technician, Rich Villa Villainzoni father of those two girls. He can't concentrate so much on work these days. I was extremely nervous from Saturday night on. My wife and I both felt much, much better um, when we got news that they were okay, that they had survived. They are okay, though daughter Adriana has a medical condition and only enough medicine for a couple more days. They were moved to rooms on a lower floor right next to a room full of flamingos put there for safekeeping. They have no idea right now how they will be coming home. The airport's heavily damaged and won't open until at least this weekend. A wedding is scheduled for a week after that. There's going to be um, an awful lot of disappointed people and an awful lot of wasted money if that doesn't happen. Now, East Bay Congressman uh, Eric Swalwell has been working quietly to get Americans home, communicating on Twitter and contacting the State Department with some luck. And Rich has been on the phone with his office, and he has his fingers crossed, too, as do thousands of others. It's right. such a mess down there. Yeah, and, and no services. You don't have electricity still down there. You know, fresh water starts to get to be a problem. Sanitation. Food. Uh, food. Yeah. I mean, and water, people don't realize, water is toilets. Exactly. You know, and you're in Mexico to begin with. Yeah. And you got no toilets, and then there's no food. It's yeah. just, it's a mess. Yeah. It's a complete mess. All right, keep us updated on them. All right. All right. Thanks, Mike. Well, tropical storm Odile has moved north and is set to hit Arizona tonight. People are bracing for torrential rain and filling sandbags ahead of the storm. Flash flood warnings are in effect with up to four inches of rain expected in the forecast.